we had a question last time about the Beamer, and we have a question this time also about a device called the IMRS. So the Beamer, B-E-M-E-R, and IMRS are both um, sold through multi-level marketing companies. Um, they are very low intensity PEMF systems. So their typical intensity is hovers around one, one Gauss. So Gauss, G-A-U-S-S, -S, is a measure of inflammation. I'm sorry, Gauss is a measure of magnetic field intensity. Um, now that adenosine block that I mentioned shows that ideally you should have 15 Gauss at the target tissue to try to reduce the inflammation. So if you need 15 Gauss at the target tissue, then one Gauss clearly is not going to work on that principle to any significant extent. Doesn't mean it's, that doesn't do anything, it's just not gonna do very much at all. So one of the key benefits of the very low intensity systems, I think is they operate primarily through the acupuncture meridians uh, and through the s superficial sensory receptors in the skin. And when you treat a large enough area of the body at the same time, you can flood the brain just like you do with a bunch of acupuncture needles um, with a lot of neurochemicals that causes an enkephalin or endorphin release, which makes you feel pleasant. Uh, it's sort of like the runner's high, if you will. Um, but again, to work deep into the body, they don't have the magnetic field intensities that are necessary to target deep specific tissues like arthritis significantly. And there's some research that has compared, um, has looked at these devices for specific health issues like arthritis and the results are not very good. Uh, and that's understandable because of the principle involved. And that principle has to do with something called Faraday's law and also the inverse square law. And Faraday's law basically says that the higher the magnetic field and the faster it rises, then the stronger the, uh, the total amount of magnetic field action is in the body in creating charge, in creating energy in the tissues. And that charge creation that the body does, the body makes in response to that magnetic field, uh, is what does the healing work of the body. So in other words, that energy then is available to do whatever the body needs to do, including improving circulation, which is a common um, a marketing sort of um, statement that people make with the Beamer in particular, that improves circulation. Well, the reality is that all magnetic fields improve circulation. It's not just the Beamer, not just the IMRS, but every single magnetic system. Even static magnets improve circulation. I did a, um, when I first started working with magnetic fields very, very early uh, in my career with them, and I've been working now with magnetic fields for about 30 years. So when I first started working with I used what are called static magnets, permanent magnets, like the kinds you, you see on the fridge. And those permanent magnets I put on my palm um, and my palm would get red. So why would it get red? Improve circulation. At the same time, I discovered that the other palm got red, not as much as the one that had the magnet on it. So even a static magnet improves circulation. So basically the take home from this is that all magnetic fields improve circulation. The question is that if you need to improve circulation deep in your body, in a kidney, in a lung, in a brain, are you gonna get the same level of improvement in circulation with a higher intensity system subject to Faraday's law? The higher the intensity, the greater the charge production in the body, the greater the actions are gonna be in the tissues and the faster the results and the less treatment time probably is gonna be necessary. So again, they're decent systems. I think they probably cost more than they should for the amount of energy being produced. Um, we had a sponsor on the Pain Solution Summit, uh, ParMeds, and uh, the ParMeds sponsorship. Um, the ParMeds has a device called the ParMeds Home System. So the Beamer is, you know, depending on which version you get, but you could pay six, close to $6,000 for a Beamer. You could pay over $5,000 for an IMRS. Um, whereas the uh, ParMeds Home System is actually about 70 times stronger for the whole body pad and 200 times stronger for the smaller applicator. So therefore it's gonna work a lot better deeper into the body. So from a health maintenance perspective, so again, the Beamer and the IMRS are probably very, very good systems generally for health maintenance. But I think you could do better because of the Faraday's law. And that's called V slash DT. 
uh, the change in B, B is the symbol, scientific symbol for intensity, divided by the change in time. So as, as those parameters increase, as you increase the intensity and you decrease the time for the signal to be produced to reach its peak, that produces the most amount of charge, Faraday's law. So the higher intensity systems like ParMed's home system is even going to be a better health and maintenance system generally than the, um, these other low, very low frequency systems. Now I do have a system called the BioBalance as well, and it's only about $2,500. So and it's five times, five to 10 times stronger than these other systems. So that's a better value if you're gonna spend money on a very low intensity system that the biobalance is a much better value to get the same kinds of benefits, which generally are gonna be health maintenance benefits. So that's basically the, the way to, to conceptualize these systems. Now, one of the reasons on drpollock.com we have so many different devices is because as a physician, as an MD, uh, over the years, I've learned that you can't solve all your problems, all the problems that people are likely to come to me for solutions for, you can't solve those with one system. And for years, I worked with a system called the QRS. Um, and we have a system on our website as well called Meditera. Meditera is designed by the same engineers that designed the QRS. Again, a very low intensity system, around one Gauss. So same issues apply to any of those systems that apply to Beamer and IMRS, but again, are improved upon with the ParMed's home system. And the ParMed's home system has 10, 10, 10 programs, built-in programs. It's well-designed, very reliable, and if you're gonna do health maintenance and that's all you really wanna do, consider getting a ParMed's home system. Now, the home system is about $3,500. The biobalance is about $2,500. And as I said, IMRS and QRS are over $5,000. Um, and so is the uh, QRS. All right, so that's basically the long and short of how to think about these systems. And I know they're being heavily marketed and a lot of people are buying them. Uh, and I'm in shock. I'm saying that you're spending $6,000 to get one Gauss, whereas you're spending $3,500 to get 70 Gauss. Do the math. Doesn't make sense, at least to me. <laughs>